and welcome back to our session. You are all happy? Had your food? Yes? You have all turned off your fans? No. Don't turn off, turn on because it is hot. Okay? And you can feel the comfort of air when you turn on the fan, right? Yes children, we all discussed about this in our last session about air. Yes? Air moves things, we have learnt about that, right? We feel air when it moves. Okay, the same way, today we will learn about three properties of air. Okay, children, shall we learn? What is the meaning of the word properties? What is the meaning of the word properties? Can anybody tell me? What is this? This is an air pump. Okay, so this will be hard or soft? Hard, hard, being hard is it? property okay now see this what is this this is a balloon see if we leave the balloon it will fly yes yes the balloon flies because it doesn't have much weight see isn't it this is the property of this balloon the same way air also has got important properties shall we learn about that children yes Okay, now the first property of air is air fills the things like teacher was showing you the balloons. Yes, so the balloon, this is in this shape like an oval shape. When we blow the air, it is taking the oval shape. The air is filling this balloon and filling the, making it into an oval shape. You all might have celebrated birthdays, right? Your birthday parties. At that time, you might have seen the Dora balloons, the beam balloons. Spider-Man ones, isn't it? All those are also balloons. When they pump the air into it, they will take the shape of that because that was already in the shape of Dora or Spider-Man. We have taken the empty balloon and pumped air into it. Understood children? Yes, so air fills the things. Understood? Air fills the things. Okay children, now teacher will talk to you about another important property that Air has weight. Now see this empty ball. Yes. Will it be heavy? No. See. I am playing with this. Yes. Okay children. We understood about air fills things right. When we saw that. Now I will show you one ball. What is this? This is a empty ball. Is there air in this? If, there, if we fill air into it. Will it be in this shape? No. It will not be in this shape. And it is also light. Shall I show you a full ball now which is full of weight? Yes. See this ball? See this ball? It is full of air. It is heavy. When I throw this up also, it is not moving like the ball which is light. Because empty ball will not have weight. But a ball full of air. See how it is shaped? How its shape is? Yes. It is full of air and it is heavy. Okay, now we understood children, air has weight also. Okay, air has weight also. Now teacher will talk to you about third property. What is it? Air moves things. Air moves things. This is a hand fan. See, if we move like this, ah, air is moving my hair. Isn't it children, if we move like this? Yes. I can feel it. See, my hair is also moving when I am doing this. The same way. See this? There are tiny bits of paper, right? Now, if I take these pieces and blow it, all the pieces flew away. See again? All the pieces flew away. So, the air moves the things. The air was moving my hair. The air was moving the bits of paper. Now, you understood children that? Air moves the things, okay? And the air moves the things we have learned so many times, right? So, do you know children, what do we call the moving air? There is one word with which we call the moving air. That is wind. What is that? That is wind. Moving air is called wind. Okay, remember, everybody tell with me, moving air is called Wind. What is wind? Moving air. Understood children? So, now when the wind was blowing more slowly and gently, 
my hair was moving right i took a hand fan and i was doing like this yes or no my hair was moving so that time the wind was blowing gently softly i didn't feel any discomfort i was in fact happy when the wind was blowing like that yes that soft and gentle wind is called breeze what is breeze soft and gentle wind is called breeze understood children and there is a wind which blows very strongly yes do you know that there is a wind which blows very strongly it will damage our houses also that that time trees will be falling down everything will be in discomfort yes we will not be comfortable the things around us will not be comfortable even the nature will not be comfortable do you know what is that strong wind called storm what is the strong wind called storm and one good example of a storm is tornado you all know about it right children tornado is one good example of a storm when there is tornado the houses also will be damaged the wind will damage everything around us isn't it children so if anybody asks an example of a storm you will tell tornado understood children now there are few things that work with wind you know what are those do you know about the things that work with wind what is this yes kite you all like to fly kites isn't it children so if there is no wind if there is no moving air will this kite move in the sky no it will not so the kite needs air to move understood so this works with air this needs air to move okay now i'll show another thing what is this boat yes this boats also to move what they need air okay this boats will be sailing on water right if the air is moving the air will be taking the boats to some location some place okay if the air is not moving the boat also will not move much right the air also the boat also works with wind one more thing i'll show you what is this have you seen this kind of things anywhere yes windmill have you seen this kind of things these things also when the wind is blowing this shows how the wind is blowing if it is blowing softly or it is a strong wind okay we might have seen this right in the hilly places yes or no children yes now teacher has shown you three things that work with wind what are they isha kite a sailboat windmill yes these three examples you will remember okay because all these things are very important for you to do your workbook okay so what are the things which we have learned properties of air kashvi can you tell me what are the three properties of air yes 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 air fills things air has weight air moves things these are the three properties of air okay and what do we call the moving air nidhi can you tell me what do we call the moving air yes the moving air is called wind what do we call the moving air the moving air is called wind okay now pranav can you tell me any three things that work with wind yes good a kite a sailboat a windmill these are the three things teacher has shown they will work with wind understood children now what is breeze arnav can you tell me what is breeze yes good the soft and gentle wind is called breeze what is breeze the soft and gentle wind is called breeze now florence can you tell me what is a storm mm good the strong wind is called a storm what is storm the strong wind is called a storm and can anybody tell me an example of a storm very good everybody is shouting tornado so you are all listening to the lesson right very good children now you remember what all the things teacher has told and you will be able to do your workbook also very well okay children so after the class what you will do is you will try to understand that air fills things 
Take a balloon and blow air into it. Then you will remember that air feels things. And air has weight. What you will do? You will take a ball without air. Or else you can take your balloon also without air and with air. Put it in both the hands and see which one you can handle well. Okay? Next, air moves things. Teacher has done something, right? She kept bits of paper in her hand and blew the air. You will try that. Okay, children? Yes? You all know, right? Even when your mother dries clothes outside also, the clothes are getting dried. How? That is all because of the air. The wind is blowing and the clothes are getting dry. Understood, children? Moving air is called wind. So, today what we have learned? We have learned about all the properties of air. Understood, children? Go back and do the experiment so that you remember whatever the teacher said. Okay? All the best. Bye!